Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Light, I'm back. Today we are checking out the new Angler and War Robots, and we're going to check out the new pilot, Sylvia Thorne. So every time you get a kill when you're not in your ability, it's going to recharge your ability so you can go back into it again, and we're going to find out exactly how deadly this is. Today we are going to play Halo and Glory on this thing. I think this is an awesome weapon setup. We're going to run two repair amplifiers and a nuclear amplifier and an re advanced repair unit. We've got Customization Adept, Roadhog, Armor Expert, Destroyer, Adamant Guardian, Stubborn Warrior, and Invulnerable Radar. Those are the skills I'm going to try out today and see how they do. And when it comes to the drone, we're going to run a Nebula with Freezer on Repair Unit Defense and Mild Damage Absorbers. And drone rework is coming, so drones will be very different pretty soon. But for now... Nebula. And if you want more damage, you can always go with a beak with two damage chips. I like to keep it real on this channel, so we're only going to record one game. I like to show you guys average, everyday gameplay, what it's really like out there. I don't record 50 battles just to get that one perfect piece of footage that makes me look like some sort of monster on the battlefield. I like to show you real battles and what it's really like out there, so... Let's go do a game, and then afterwards, I'm going to do a little review and tell you my thoughts on this pilot. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with Mr. Angler, and we're going to run down to the bridge, and we're going to try and pay attention to how much of a help this pilot actually is. So hopefully we get to see this in action. Let's grab the first beacon. We got a guy going right to the bridge, and I'm going to follow him over there. So here comes our first victim and maybe our second victim. I see both of those guys over there. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, there's three of them down here now. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to angle some people. I think there's another angler over here right now. So let's shoot these guys. So we've got the advantage. We are going to angle this angler really quick. See if we can beat this guy up. He's pretty tough. He's definitely got some strength going on there, so he's going to be a pain in our butt. Let's go ahead and get the other guy. It's going to be interesting to see how well this works, but... Later, Mr. Angler. All right, so we get to go right into the ability again. This is going to be... If you're, if you're good with this robot and you can rack up some kills with it, all right, so there is a cooldown. There is a 20 second cooldown. So the first time I was able to go right into the ability, but now I'm not after that kill because I had to wait for the 20 second cooldown to hit. But bottom line is that's definitely gonna make this robot even more dangerous than it already is. In my opinion, it's already got way too many ability charges. So it goes into the ability way too often, but that's just my opinion. Let's get rid of this angler right here. Oh, he's in the ability. So, what is that? What's shooting me? Um, let's go after this guy. Let's uh, let's go ahead and use the ability and watch. When we come out, hopefully we're gonna kill him. I'm not really sure, but oh nope nope, he went right back into that ability. Let's go after Mr. Nether here. All right. Ability time. Ba -ba 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 Bam. Take this, sir. And here we go. Dang, man. He's slippery. Let's go after this dude. But yeah, this is a very dangerous robot with this build. These weapons hit crazy hard. We're going to go ahead and angle this guy. And we, we do want to get rid of that other angler, but we want to deal with this guy first I think because he's the closest he'll be the easiest to take out so if I get that kill really quick oh nope so this this pilot is going to be useful but as you can see it's not constantly triggering all the time you have to get the kills and then you also got to deal with that cooldown so there it was I just went right back into it I, I got that kill and I was able to go right back into that ability so this is a very dangerous pilot at times let's use our healing here we go let's go and ability it up hey they're pushing me off the beacon I don't know which one of these guys I actually want to go after first but let's go after this dude somehow I just got blinded there's another angler here and I think I'm about to die but 
I think you guys get the idea of how this works, honestly. So let's angle these guys really quick. We're going to hit our healing. Let's see if we can beat this guy up. I was hoping to kill him really fast to get back into the ability, but you guys saw it in action. All right, I'm going to bring the new Titan out, or I should say the Special Edition Titan, and this thing is freaking crazy, guys. I'm telling you, though, this is the best Titan in the game. It doesn't matter if you have the Limited Edition or the regular one. This Titan just, uh, this Titan rocks, man. Especially with these weapons, this is probably, in my opinion, the best Titan in the game. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I would definitely say best Titan ever. These weapons are brutal. These things rack up the kills. They rack up the damage. If you can get a hold of these, you probably should. And this Titan just looks cool. We'll, we'll take a look at this after the battle so you can see exactly what it looks like. And it does look like some sort of big Gundam thing with like a bird's head. To me, it reminds me of a bird's head. I don't know. So my team seems to be winning. We're doing pretty good. Let's go up in the air here and see if we can stomp on a Seraph. We're going to give that guy a big old crap sandwich. Prepare to die, sir. Thank you for the silver. I appreciate that. There's the rampage. I'll tell you what, though. I probably rack up more kills with this setup than anything else right now. This, uh, this setup is just brutal. I think this is the way a Titan should be. Most of the Titans right now are just kind of okay, but this one is a little bit different. This is the way a Titan should be, guys. This is this one's the real deal. So they just stole our home beacon. I'm going to hit my healing. And as soon as he lands, there we go. Womp. Is it going under the bridge? Yeah, it's going to go under the bridge. So I'm just going to go ahead and land back on the bridge. We don't want him to take the beacon. I don't care if it's white. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Our team is definitely winning, so... Not a huge deal. Somehow that nether is doing crazy damage to me. Let's try and beat him up really quick. How are you not dying, sir? Are my bullets not hitting you? What is happening here? That is really weird. For some reason, I can't seem to hit this guy. I don't know why, but he's not taking any damage here. What the heck? Can somebody explain this? Because I really cannot. Those Titan weapons kill stuff with a couple of shots, and that guy was just not going down. That was very strange. So these weapons are damaging him. So I don't know if the shots were missing or what was going on there, but that was pretty crazy. I must say the least. All right. Purple shield be gone right about now and destroyed. Ba -ba 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 Bam. We got him. We got him. And this battle is just about over. Ah, here comes another challenger. And that's about it. Let's kind of see. Let's kind of see what the skill. Not let's go see. Let's kind of see what the skills are. I don't know why I said that, but hey. Skills, scores. All right, 9.2 million damage, 9 kills, 8 beacons. I'll take it. I will take it. Not bad. So if you see one of these things constantly going into the ability, it might just have this pilot on it. I don't know. I don't think they really needed to make this pilot for it because this thing's already goes into the ability too often. And now it can go in even more often. So I don't know. I'm not really sure why they would have made this pilot, but it's definitely a top notch pilot. If you've got an angler and you can get this pilot, it's definitely worth leveling up. Personally, I don't think this thing should exist. I think it was a bad idea. It just makes the strongest, most annoying robot in the game even stronger and more annoying, but what can you do, I guess? It's a great pilot, but I think it's way too over the top, but I think that wraps this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you watch the entire video when I post one, YouTube's more likely to prom promote my channel. That would be a giant help. Um, other ways to help support the channel, check out the join button or the thank you button down below the video. There's a Danny Lightning uh, clothing store. You can find that below the video or in the description. There's some Amazon links to where if you buy something, 
you know, I'll get a commission off the purchase and stuff like that. So check out the video's description. There's also a link to my Discord server and some other interesting stuff down there as well. So if any of that sounds interesting or you'd like to help, check it out. Thanks for watching, everybody. You guys are amazing. Lightning out. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will catch you next time. See ya.